In this question, they tell us that Jolie draws the triangle below. So here's the triangle right here. They ask which triangle is congruent to Jolie's triangle. So the word here is congruent. And you might have come across this before. And, and what it essentially means when two shapes are congruent, right? This is referring to shapes. Well, essentially, they're equal in every way, right? They're equal in every way. And the only difference is that, well, they're in a different location. So they're equal, but they, essentially they have, have been moved somewhere, right? Because we needed a word, and we need a word every day, I guess, where you take a shape and you move it somewhere else, right? We know the shape doesn't change if I, if I take this triangle and I slide it left, or if I slide it right, or if I make a copy of it and slide it left or right, that copy, let's say I drew the exact same triangle here, is the same, right? It's just over here. So it's in a different spot. So congruent means they've been, they're equal, the shapes, in every way, the angles, side lengths, and all of that. But they have been moved, or rotated, or turned. Um, a fancy way of saying that is that they've been um, either translated or, di or excuse me, translated in some way or rotated in some way. So we slid them somewhere or turned them in some way. Um, and and they actually tell you on the quiz, it got cut off here, but to use a ruler and, and a protractor. But really, one easy way to look at this is to realize that the angles in this triangle, right, and this triangle, right, especially this one, a little more obvious, are certainly not equal to these angles right here, right? You can really just look at the angles in this example. Because and in, this, in this shape right here, C, this has to be the answer because you can you can just see that the angles match, right? That, without even measuring that this angle corresponds or is in the same uh, relative location as this angle. That this angle right here is certainly corresponding and equal to that angle. And this angle here is equal to that one. Also, you can even just by, I mean, you can measure with a ruler, but, but you can check to see that the side lengths are equal as well. A quick way to check other ones if you're not sure about the angles is just to grab your ruler. If this side, right, doesn't equal any of the sides in A, B, or C, or D, or any of the choices here, if those lengths are different, they're not congruent. Remember, because congruent means essentially all of the angles and all of the sides are exactly the same. But the shape, because it refers to a shape, is somewhere else. And that's what congruent means. All right, thanks.